All right, guys. Um, out here, we're gonna try to do some bass fishing. I just got a simple setup. I'm just gonna do a weightless worm, a green pumpkin. And I'm just gonna sit around here and go along this bank and see what I can catch. This is only the second time I've ever been to this place, so uh, let's see how we do. The gar right there. Really? Guys, I had to switch. I just, I know I didn't give it very long for that, uh, that thing. The worm. But I had to switch over to this frog. I've got a feeling this might be the ticket. Now, I hear the frogs all around me. I, it's late in the evening. Um, a lot of grass here. A lot of, I've been seeing some things bust on the surface. So I, I just had to tie it on. I'm going to live or die by the frog right now. So let's hope that it works out. You probably, y'all probably can't see, but there's a gar right there, just sitting there, just hanging out. Probably, about, I don't know, maybe two feet, just sitting there. Oh. <laughs> He's right there. <laughs> Well, so far, guys, I've seen uh, two gar and about it. No strikes yet in the frog. And, oh, another no, third gar right there. Y'all probably can't see him, but he's right. I do that better. He's right. Uh, he's right there. I don't know why I threw it there. That's a big gar right there. Look at that. There's two of them. Two gar right there. Another. There they are again. Two, three of them. Yeah. Oh crap! Gar right there. Two. Look at them all. There's one, two, two of them right there. All right, guys. I walked almost way down here at the other end of this, and I caught nothing. So I'm gonna come over here. So against this stuff right here, the frog, see if I can't get at least one fish. Um, you know, thing moved right there. Let's see if we can get a get a little better look on this side. This side connects to the main river, so we might have some luck over here. All right, y'all, we gave it a good try. Uh, I'm surprised I didn't get no bass out of this area. I mean, look at it; it looks really nice. Tons of gar in there. Oh, a lot of guards, y'all seen. Hopefully, y'all can see them in the video. But so is what it is, y'all. But I'll see y'all at the end of this video. See you then. Hey, everyone! As you seen in this video, I didn't catch nothing. Like I said, um, I was out there for about two and a half hours throwing that frog around, and I didn't get not one bike, not one strike, nothing. So I'm not sure uh, what's going on with that out there. Uh, like I said, that's only the same time I've been out there to that particular little uh, pond, lake, whatever you want to call it. Um, so, but I talked to some people. They said there's bass in there, so I just don't know if the, my frog was too big for them or what. But nothing was inter interested in it. But on a side note, I seen a crap ton of gar in there. Um, I'm gonna be do doing some research to figure out how to catch gar. Um, I never caught a gar before. It'd be kind of fun to do it. So. If y'all know of any ways of catching gar, uh, let me know down in the comments below. I'd truly appreciate the help. Um, but other than that, y'all, I'm gonna try to be doing some. Uh, probably, I'm gonna probably be doing a lot of catfishing here soon because I want to catch some big cats this year. So I'll probably end up doing some of that. Um, probably also start doing some sun fishing here soon too. Some bluegill, see so if I can get some nice, you know, big hand-sized bluegill. Good stuff. But uh. Yeah, guys, if you have uh, any, like I said, any uh, suggestions on how to catch gar, I'll be um, open to anything y'all have to, uh, have to uh, offer. So, thank y'all for watching my video, and I'll see you in the next one.